Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you the unboxing and first look of a new Rough Rider knife that I got. This will be a uh, denim uh, faded blue jean denim electrician's knife. The model number is RR2345. Comes in a standard uh, large box. And a little bit of information about this this pattern. So, uh, it started as a pattern number T L TL dash twenty nine, which was a military uh, designation. It was commissioned as a tool for the uh, linesman, and uh, it was invented somewhere in nineteen seventy to nineteen nineteen. And the U.S. Army commissioned this one for the utilization of U.S. Army Signal Corps. And basically it was used for stripping the wire insulation from communications uh, cables. So therefore here is the, the primary is a wire stripper tool. Also a uh, pry bar or screwdriver which is unsharpened. And then secondary is the uh, main blade so let me give you the quick specifications so we have a overall length of 16 centimeters that is 6.3 inches and the blade length is 7.1 uh, centimeter 2.8 inches cutting edge is 6.2 or 2.4 inches the blade width is 1.4 centimeters 0.5 inches the thickness is 2.2 millimeters or 0.08 inches then we have the, uh, the wire stripper blade, which is 7.1 cm, 2.8 inches uh, long. Uh, the width is 1.2 cm, 0.5 inches. Uh, the thickness is uh, 2.2 mm or so 0.08 inches. And uh, the handle length is uh, 9.4 cm or 3.7 inches with a thickness of 1.5 cm, 0.6 inches. Uh, the knife weighs uh, 105.8 grams or 3.7 ounces. It's made out of uh, 440A with a certain finish. This is standard for a rider. And like I mentioned, this pattern has a really uh, high significance uh, in World War One. It was used uh, by the by the U.S. military, and is also uh, a really popular uh, traditional pattern model in the on the civilian market. Nowadays, this is uh, probably obsolete, just because it was uh, uh, it was now made obsolete. Uh, we have uh, much more uh, specific tools like multi tools, of course, and so this is a. Uh, something for the for the collection okay so I forgot to mention that the blade uh, is non locking we have a 90 degree half stop and the tool is locking so let's uh, check out the wire stripper capabilities so for that I have probably have to open the close this Hope to not cut myself here or my gloves <laughs> but okay let's try to do this somehow so let's drop the wire into the cutout and just oh, it did not work so maybe one more time we have to push a little bit and now this time it work so really interesting uh, pattern the stiffness on the back spring uh, is I would say in the mid range around uh, six 
definitely not a problem. We have also a half stop on the wire stripper tool. There is also a bail on the back portion. We have only one bolster right there, which made a nickel silver. And we have a nice faded blue uh, denim or jean micarta with those nice red liners underneath. And we have brass liners and locking liner also made out of uh, brass, of course. Overall fit and finish is really nice. Price-wise, we're looking at around $14.99, that is from Smoky Mountain Iworks. So, excellent uh, value proposition right there. Opening the tool is without any problems. They have dialed in the tension just right. I would probably prefer to have this uh, mesh stride pull a little bit farther to give you a better leverage, but uh, there's no problem. For some reason, they put the mesh strike pull on the blade on the same side. I can definitely go inside with a, with a nail and open it up, but it will be probably better if they put it on the opposite side. But yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so now let's see if size, some size comparisons. So here is a rough rider peanut. From the same series, we have the toothpick. Here is a Barlow from the Rough Rider Reserve line. Here is the work knife, also from Rough Rider. Excellent, inexpensive knife. Here is a full size trapper. Small stockman. Here is uh, the case uh, tribal lock. And just to show you how the how the bone uh, does look after use. So this side is a little bit uh, starting to fade because of the sunlight here in here on my table in the studio and on the opposite side we have the original dying yeah. okay let's continue with a lenny's clip from twisted assisted Then here is a beautiful chestnut bone case Saltbuster Junior. Tech Tool 1 from Burke Plus. This is one of the uh, newest iterations of multi tool knife uh, combo. So there are, I don't know, uh, nine or ten of them with different uh, tools you can. You can choose from this is just the basic one uh, with only the blade and uh, a glass breaker but something like this would be the the current iteration of a of a tool knife uh, that would be probably uh, issued to some let's say uh, military units or police uh, units from those bomb squads and so on Okay, so now uh, let's continue with some modern knives. So here is the CVV Penguin, sorry, CVV Elementum. Here is the QSP Penguin. Let's see, small reptilian from Benchmade. Red model too. It's 
spalja kod Elika. Kaiser Pinch. Bug Vintage Select Small. CRKT Pillar 1. Up the series. CVV Rustic Gent. And let's close it down with the K-Bot Dozer Folding Hunter. So overall, this is a really interesting pattern in my opinion. Uh, the bail on this one is really functional, so if you would like to carry the knife just inside your pocket without any pouch or uh, case, then you can uh, put a lanyard or a chain to the bail and clip it to your, uh, to your jeans or trousers and it will be always available right there. So really interesting uh, piece of history in my opinion. So if you are searching uh, for, for these, for the original uh, TL-29s, uh, they should be uh, sometimes popping out on on eBay just because they were made in so, such a huge quantities used by the military and also the, uh, the civilians likewise so yeah okay so if you have any questions please leave comments down below I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can of course uh, if you are a subscriber thank you very much a big thumbs up to you I always appreciate my subscribers uh, taking time uh, watching my videos letting me know what they think about the knife or uh, uh, anything else about the channel and so on so let me know and with that being said, I wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon.